today, we will see some misconceptions and common mistakes related to ratio. Misconception 1. The monthly income of Dinesh is Rs 12,000. He saves Rs 5,000 per month. Find the ratio of his savings to expenditure. Some students don't understand the question properly. Ignoring what was asked in the question, they simply represent the given numbers in the ratio form. This way, they choose option 1 as the answer which is incorrect. Here, we have to find the ratio of savings to expenditure. If we deduct his savings from the income, then we can find the expenditure of the niche. Thus, expenditure is equal to Rs 12,000 minus Rs 5,000, which is equal to Rs 7,000. We have to find the ratio of savings to expenditure. Here, savings is Rs 5,000 and expenditure is Rs 7,000. Thus, the ratio of savings to expenditure is 5,000 is to 7,000. Therefore, the correct answer to the given question is option 3. Some students think that the ratio can be represented in any order. Therefore, they represent the ratio of savings to expenditure as 7,000 is to 5,000. But this is incorrect. Hence, option 2 is an incorrect answer. The ratio should be represented in the same order as asked in the question. Misconception 2. Anita has some lace. Its length is 6 meter and breadth is 30 centimeters. Then find the ratio of length to breadth of the lace. To find the ratio of two quantities, we first need to convert them into the same units. Here, we will represent both the units in centimeters. Since 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters, 6 meters equal to 6 into 100 centimeters, which is equal to 600 centimeters. Therefore, the length of the lace is 600 centimeters and the breadth is 30 centimeters. Since both the quantities have the same units, then we can find their ratio. Ratio of length to breadth of the lace is 600 by 30, which is equal to 20 by 1, that is, 20 is to 1. Some students don't pay attention to the fact that the units should be the same. To find the ratio of length to breadth of the lace, they write 6 as the numerator and 30 as the denominator. They write the ratio as 6 is to 30, which is the ratio of meter and centimeter. They further write it in its simplest form, that is 1 is to 5. This ratio shows that the length is 5 times smaller than the breadth. But if we observe carefully, 6 meter length is greater than 30 centimeter breadth. Therefore, writing the ratio of length to breadth as 1 is to 5 is incorrect. Thus, option 1 is incorrect and option 2 is the correct answer. Note that to find the correct ratio, it is very important to keep the units equal. Now let us understand some common mistakes. Some students think that we will know the actual quantity by knowing the ratio of two quantities. Suppose the ratio of toffees with Meena to toffees with Manish is 4 is to 5. Then, students think that Meena has 4 toffees and Manish has 5 toffees. But this is an incorrect understanding. Ratio does not tell us about the exact number of toffees. If Meena has 8 toffees and Manish has 10 toffees, then also we get the same ratio, 4 is to 5. Similarly, if the numbers of toffees is 12 and 15 respectively, then again we get the same ratio, 4 is to 5. The correct understanding is that the ratio 4 is to 5 does not tell us about the number of toffees. Instead, it tells us the relation between Meena and Manisha's toffees. Here, for every four toffees of Meena's, Manish has five toffees. Today, we have seen some misconceptions and common mistakes related to ratio.